In this video, we are going to learn about diff processor in Centerprise. A diff processor is used to figure out the differences between uh, the two data sets. One is already existing inside the database table and one is incoming data set. Say for example, you inserted a set of records inside a database table and next day you get the data that is more or less the same as the data that you inserted today however it has changed slightly in that case you don't want to insert or process the entire set of data in that case you want to process only the data that has been changed since last time and for that this feature diff processor comes very handy let's go ahead and have a look at that to use a diff processor you go to database write strategy and drag and drop the diff processor onto the designer in this example of the data flow, I have uh, customers source data coming in one Excel sheet and I already have a destination database table that contains this customer's data. Now I get slightly modified data that comes in this Excel sheet and I would like to process the data that has changed since last time. So the way it would work is I would take this data and uh, map everything into the diff so that all the data is flowing from the source into the diff processor and once the diff processor has done the processing it will send all the records with instruction about whether to insert or delete or update into the destination now let's go ahead and have a look at the properties of the diff processor so if you go there the very first thing you need to specify is the connection and uh, I'm going to use one of the existing connections that is the recently used connection it's a SQL Server database and this is where I specify where the destination data is and based on which application is going to do the processing of the differential I pick my table and that is the customers table and for the record matching I need to specify which is the primary key in this case it is the customer ID and uh, you can specify if your match is going to be case sensitive or not some databases uh, they support case sensitive uh, using collation and all so depending on that you check or uncheck this option and then in output options you specify whether you want to do single output or one output port for each action mostly you'll be using single output in this case what application does that for each record say it's a new record and it was it is not already existing inside the database table the application will stamp that record with directive of insert that means it's a new record and it should be inserted say a record has been changed since last time then application will stamp that record as update this record inside destination so that's how this diff processor attaches a directive to each of the records about what is going to happen once they really go to the database and that's how this and that's how this diff processor works so once I do that and click on OK my diff processor is going to take the data from the source and uh, mark each of the records for the processing inside the destination now if I go to the destination database and go to the properties of it and if you remember one of the options here is uh, single port and follow update strategy directive that's exactly what we want to use here we click on that and click on OK and as a result you can see here it's a flat tree with uh, no other input ports apart from just the top node and now if you go ahead and uh, do a mapping you can see here everything is mapped and uh, whatever is, is flowing from the source it is going to pass through the diff processor and depending on if the record has been updated or it has been inserted or it has been deleted it will pass on that information to the destination writer and accordingly the record will be processed now our diff processor is ready uh, if I go ahead and preview the data on the diff processor I can see here for each of the records one column is added that is write strategy action and you can see here the actions 
such as for the most of them it says skip identical that means the data was same for some of them it says update that means the data has changed since last time and uh, if you go to the bottom there is one record however it says inserted that means this record was not there in the original set it is a new addition to the new data set and that's why the recommendation for this record is to be inserted inside the destination so that's how the diff processing works inside Enterprise. Thanks for watching this video.